So when we think about the automotive and the Qualcomm focus on this incredible segment, which has been completely transformed by technology, we look about how to work towards the automotive industry of the future. It's about really redefining vehicles for the 21st century. And we start by rethinking, from a Qualcomm standpoint, how the relationship between the various companies providing technology and solutions to the automotive ecosystem is. Car companies are becoming, in the are now, many of them are now tech companies. Uh, technology assets become extremely important. They also, those new partnerships are formed. What we saw with the transition of the car into a completely more digital, cloud-connected, and intelligent experience, car companies started to develop direct relationship with technology companies and chipset providers. Uh, and I think that got taken to the whole next level as we look at the supply chain crisis and the understanding of the importance of semiconductors and the semiconductors roadmap and the role in the technology and digital evolution of the cars. So we think that with redefining, building direct relationship, not only with the tier ones, but the automakers, and focus on can we create a true digital chassis? Not only thinking about the car as you have a car model, and you're gonna decide for that car model which components you put into the car. But if you look, traditionally the car companies had really mastered better than any other industry how to do platform development and integration. They would develop a drivetrain that they would use across commercial um, uh, consumer cars, uh, you know, from across the world, and they will have platforms for the unibody and the chassis. So why not create a digital platform that can scale from entry-level cars all the way to premium automobiles, can serve multi-generation uh, in addition to multi-tier, and can be a platform for innovation? That's the Qualcomm approach. It's about building a chassis with all of those systems being integrated for the digital cloud-connected capabilities of the car versus individual components for a car project. Um, that is resonating with the industry and is meeting the needs of the car company, especially with the Qualcomm approach of a horizontal model that allow every company to innovate and retain their innovation. It's open, it's upgradable, it is, you can customize, and you can drive towards the future of automotive, which is gonna be evolving in real time, personalized experience for every driver. And with that, that is how we think about the digital chassis. It's a platform that includes the Snapdragon auto connectivity platform. It includes the digital cockpit, which is much more than infotainment. It's how you really interact with your car. It includes the car to cloud service platform and Snapdragon ride for ADAS and autonomy. And that new platform meets both consumer and industry demands for a completely new approach in how thinking about technology development into the cars in the future. And as we look individually, I want to start focus on how we think about the digital cockpit. Um, it's really moving towards an immersive driving experience. It's about taking this concept that there's a lot of information that is part of your digital life from your phone, and why don't you take that, plus with everything else that is part of your life when you're behind the wheel, into how you're going to interact with the car. We all know today, and the car industry has validated that, uh, the digital cockpit becomes one of the key buying decisions for new car buyers today. It becomes a very important feature in the decision about buying a car. That's really important. So as we look at the digital cockpit portion of the digital chassis, we have a number of interesting announcements uh, for you today. So I will start that we're working with Volvo to enable Snapdragon Power premium infotainment experience in the Polestar 3 SUV and Volvo's upcoming fully electric SUV. To tell you more about 
the partnership between Qualcomm and Volvo, uh, virtually is going to be joining us, Henry Green, Chief Product Officer of Volvo Cars. They've made a video for you. Please watch. I'm Henry Green and I'm the Chief Product Officer at Volvo Cars. Volvo Cars is a company that believes in collaborating with tech leaders all over the world, large and small. We want to work with the best technologies available to give our customers the best possible experiences. And today, I'm here to proudly announce that we're also working with Qualcomm. Qualcomm's deep knowledge of the automotive sector provides a good foundation for a long-term collaboration between us. You will see the first result of our collaboration later this year when we launch our fantastic fully electric flagship SUV. It will use Qualcomm's Snapdragon processor to power its infotainment system and to deliver an industry-leading video, audio and connectivity performance. Our teams have worked closely together to improve the system we have in our cars today enhancing its overall capability and making it much faster and more responsive. We expect great things going forward. This is one more reason to look forward to our next generation of cars and to Volvo's future. That's fine. Thank you, Volvo. Thank you for the partnership. We're very honored to work with Volvo on this project, continue to make progress, uh, in more, uh, both design wins as well as new launches with uh, Snapdragon Digital Cockpit. And we have another announcement of Digital Cockpit today, which is with Honda. We're extending our long-standing relationship with Honda to deliver smart and premium experiences. Third generation Snapdragon Cockpit platforms will power advanced infotainment systems at Honda you're going to see highly intuitive AI for in-car virtual assistance, natural interactions, and contextual safety use cases. The power of bringing artificial intelligence to the digital cockpit. It will be commercially available in the United States in the second half of this year and globally as part of Honda uh, platforms by 2023. Thank you again, Honda, for the partnership. We're very excited to announce this new engagement uh, with you at uh, CES 2022. So moving on, we want to talk about also opportunities for the digital cockpits within companies like Alps Alpine. We're announcing that we're gonna bring in-cabin capabilities as well. A lot of new technologies such as e-mirror for blind spot spot reduction, ceiling display, that's a new uh, technology as well, next generation input output devices that when the door trims, and individual sound zones for the varying, uh, you know, different passengers in the car. We're very excited about the digital cabin partnership with Alps Alpine, and it's another example of how our digital cockpit platform continue to expand to more and more use cases. So, after I talk about the digital cockpit engagement, and I, I mentioned earlier about, it's about a digital chassis. It's not about components in the car. I mentioned earlier, it's not about infotainment. It's about the digital cockpit experience of the driver and the passengers with the car. Then I wanna talk about something else that hopefully we'll be able to describe what makes Qualcomm very different when we take a whole chassis approach uh, versus individual components? The digital chassis also powers real-time engagement with the vehicle surroundings. Look, we can, sp we can spend a lot of time, give you many examples. I'm just gonna highlight a few. But for example, as you are behind the wheel and you think about technologies such as ADAS, and it's not a separate technology, it's not a separate component, it's just part of a digital platform. What is unique about Qualcomm is the system level approach, that one thing interact with the other and allow the OEM to develop a, a platform around the entire system. You can see that the digital cockpit with the driver facing camera is monitoring the driver and connected with the ADAS system 
is processing information that come from all the different sensors to make a decision using artificial intelligence whether the driver needs to pay attention to something and call the attention to the driver. We're using technologies that allow the car to be aware of its surroundings within the ADAS platform. For example, we've been a big supporter since the very beginning. We're pleased with continuously progress. This 5.9 gigahertz is now harmonized across the globe for cellular V2X. Vehicle to vehicle, vehicle to bikes, vehicle to pedestrian, vehicle to traffic lights will allow you to have real-time information and populate the infotainment, whether that is going to be your navigation system that has now this overlay of information, even if you're in full control and you're driving. Um, all, the way, all the way to engage the ADAS system to take action upon the vehicle, uh, plus the ability to do OTA updates on the system. So there's much more than the infotainment uh, when we think about the digital cockpit, and it becomes an integral part of ADAS solution. We believe at the end of the day, this system approach will win. And that's why we're very excited when we go from that conversation to what we're doing with Snapdragon Ride, which is our scalable, open, proven, based on the Arriver Pioneer assets platform for ADAS and autonomy. It's one of the industry's most advanced, flexible, and customizable ADAS platforms, and it's designed so it can scale not only for premium level vehicles, but all the way to entry level vehicles. And at that part of the presentation, we wanted to continue telling you about the progress we're making in ADAS within our automotive business. So, as, as we look into the ADAS, we're announcing today a new addition to the Qualcomm ADAS family. It's the Snapdragon Ride Vision System. It's an open, modular, scalable platform for automotive driving. It ranges from, a front, from an entry tier, end cap front camera, all the way to more advanced front, rear, and surround view solutions. It combines the RIDE SOC with next generation vision perception software stack from Arriver. It's OTA upgradable. It has the Snapdragon RIDE SDK for the OEM to customize and develop their own drive policies or use Qualcomm pre-integrated five-star rated solution. The ability to do object detection, surround view, parking, driver monitor, and maps. And it's a product of the Qualcomm Arriver collaboration, and it's going to be ready in vehicles by 2024. So we're very excited in a very short period of time to continue to make progress. The results of the Qualcomm and Arriver collaboration is the new addition of the Snapdragon Ride Vision System to our ADAS platform. And with that, uh, we're going to have one of the most advanced SOCs uh, for the Ride Vision. It's a four nanometer SOC for vision applications. I won't go to every detail, but this is a great example of the Qualcomm One technology roadmap. The ability to leverage the technology that are relevant technologies, whether it is graphics processing, AI processing, CPU, modem, multimedia, camera, sensors, um, and be able to take that into new applications. And you can see the whole picture when we really talk about Snapdragon Ride. Um, it's, you have the, the Snapdragon Vision SOC announced today, the Snapdragon ADAS SOC, which is scalable from level one to level three, and you have the accelerator that takes it from level three and level four with leading tops performance per watt. At the end of the day, you can't not run a server in the trunk of a car. Uh, it's a very comprehensive solution, including drive policy, front and surround vision, maps, parking, driving monitoring, an SDK and middleware, and of course, uh, the Qualcomm uh, state-of-the-art safe um, 
SOCs running safe OS and hypervisors. We're very excited about that. And the purpose of what we're gonna tell you next is we're not alone in seeing how the automotive industries transform into a complete digital chassis platform that it becomes a platform for innovation. What we're going to announce today is increased momentum for the ecosystem support for the Snapdragon digital chassis. It's been the technology partner, um, Qualcomm has been the technology partner of choice for the global automotive industry within this transition and is enabling the companies that are, we just look of where the companies wants to be, look at where the valuation is of the technology companies in the auto space and allow all the automakers to rapidly deliver the capabilities they need for new experiences. So we continue to expand the customers that take the full advantage of the digital chassis and, I, and we're still at the beginning of the transition. So now, as we get to the later part of the, the press conference, as a recap, you know, we talk about PCs, we talk about the, what's happening in the metaverse, we talk about 5G in the home and the opportunity for millimeter wave to go everywhere. We talk about what's happening in the automotive, uh, the digital chassis, the digital cockpit. We announce the new Snapdragon Ride Vision SOC. And then I wanna show how fast the momentum is accelerating. We had announced uh, in your Analyst Day the BMW has selected Qualcomm for ADAS. We had announced at the Tech Summit the partnership with Cadillac for Super Cruise into the Cadillac Lyric. And the opportunity to look of the whole thing is really resonating with more automakers. So today, we're very pleased to announce that Renault Group will also leverage the Snapdragon digital chassis. Delivering enhanced safety and immersive experience, they're upgradable throughout the vehicle lifetime across all domains. To tell you more about it, it's my dear friend, Luca De Mello, CEO of Renault, that produced a video for us. Please watch. Hello, everyone. Hello, Cristiano. It's a pleasure to say a few words to you as we are announcing this new partnership with uh, Qualcomm. Uh, at Renault Group, we are really excited to expand our collaboration. As you certainly know, today's automotive landscape is evolving more rapidly than ever. The automotive experience is increasingly a digital experience. So keeping up with our customer expectations requires, I believe, working closely with top tech companies like Qualcomm. So I am convinced that this new collaboration around the Snapdragon digital chassis will be key for us in the coming years. With you, I am sure we can achieve our ambition to be a front runner of the mobility tech revolution. So we are really looking forward to working with you. Have a good day. Have a great CS and Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you so much, Luca. Really excited about the partnership with Renault. And as we said, we're just going to keep going. We're very excited about what's happened with the company and we continue to gain traction. And as a summary on the automotive segment, we're working now with all leading automakers, number one in uh, telematics, automotive connectivity, and premium next gen infotainment uh, and digital chassis with all the capabilities, including ADAS, is getting a lot of momentum. Uh, it's a design wing pipeline of 13 billion. And as I said, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're seeing you know, a lot of traction. I think the market was looking for a solution like that, and a special solution that is open and flexible with capability across all domains.